Alright guys, this is Andy, aka She Blinded Me with Refractors. I'm doing a contest response for Mr. Mike O. Congrats to Mike O as he has reached 3,500 subscribers. That is awesome, man. Um, I actually had a chance to meet Mike uh, this past year at the National Convention. Just very briefly got to meet, um, you know, Mike O, and uh, I think you were with uh, Mike, baseball collector, whenever I actually met you. Just a super great guy. Um, I've actually really enjoyed your channel for a long time. Um, you know, whether it be like your, your PSA videos, your box breaks, or your Phillies team set, uh, just tons of, uh, tons of cool content. And uh, Mike has a real passion for this hobby and is very... Um, a very giving guy just you know shares his knowledge um, just a just a great guy to have in this community um, definitely uh, one of the first guys that I started watching and uh, so congrats to you Mike O. Um, one of the things that Mike wanted to know was just five cards that we're gonna want to pick up for our collection in the new year um, one of the first things that I wrote down on my list was the 1932 U.S. Caramel Lou Gehrig. I've always uh, really liked this card. I actually came close to winning one at auction. I think it was about two years ago and I got outbid at the last second so I'm still on the lookout for that card. Um, just a classic card. I mean um, obviously what else needs to be said about Lou Gehrig. I mean just great player, very inspirational story. Um, and that to me, I don't know what it is about that particular card, but it just really, it's always just kind of, uh, been, been one that I would like to pick up. So, you know, maybe this year at the show, I might be able to pick one up or if, if one pops up before then, you know, you just never know about that card. It doesn't pop up too often. So we'll just kind of have to have to see how that goes. Next thing on my list was a 2009 Topps Chrome Refractor James Harden rookie. I've always liked James Harden. He um, started out with my Oklahoma City Thunder. I was, uh, along with everyone else around here, was very sad whenever we traded him to Houston. Um, as good as the Oklahoma City Thunder franchise has been, that trade is definitely going to go down as one of the worst trades in NBA history. So... <sighs> I don't know what else to say about that really, but um, definitely like to pick up that card. Um, another card I'd like to pick up, this is another vintage. It's the 1909 E95 Philadelphia Caramel Ty Cobb. Um, if you guys have never seen that card, uh, go to YouTube, or not YouTube, but eBay, and just look it up. Just a very, um, just a classic image of Cobb. Um, I've actually, um, you know, read a cup. I've read the the latest book about Cobb, and it kind of, uh, you know, it it kind of talks about how the uh, the actual Cobb movie that you might see a lot, like on MLB Network or other places, not really factual. Um, I think the uh, the author of the book that that movie was made after, he kind of seemed like he had an axe to grind with Cobb and. He really, you know, fabricated things quite a bit to to kind of uh, sell more books. So, um, but definitely uh, that card has always uh, been one too that I've wanted. Um, the next couple things, it's kind of uh, not really one card in particular, but I'd like to um, I'd like to add more sealed boxes and cases to my unopened collection that I've started this past year. Um, and then the last thing is I'd like to start a, a long-term vintage set project. I haven't really um, decided what set that I would go after just yet, but um, um, I, it's something that I've, I've done in the past and I've really enjoyed. Um, so, and, and they're challenging. You know, if you, there's definitely a few of them that are really challenging. I'll probably go with something that um, 
you know, probably something that doesn't have like um, some super expensive card in it. But there's there's a lot of a lot of great vintage sets out there, even smaller ones. So um, I'll be I'll be looking to start something like that this year, and it'll be a long term project, something I can you know pick up some here and there. So look forward to that. Um, and now for the shout outs. He wanted us to give at least, you know, five to seven shout outs. Um, and some of these people on here, you guys may, well, I mean, a lot of these guys have quite a few followers already, but um, these are channels that I, I just feel like if you're not following, I think everybody should be. Um, these are just great guys and um, they just have a lot of good content. The first one, that I want to shout out is Eric at those back pages. Um, Eric and I have become pretty good friends. I mean, we'll text back and forth, um, you know, on a weekly basis, just talking cards. Um, he um, he will always let me know, like if there's um, you know something going on, on eBay, like a 15% off on eBay, or if he sees something that he thinks that I might like on you know another card website, you know, like. Dave and Adams, like they they ran some uh, some holiday specials, and Eric always, you know, Adam, I'm just, uh, I think that's really cool that he that he thinks, you know, he thinks of other people, and he he kind of knows what other people like and collect, and so if he comes across something that he thinks that you might be interested in, he lets you know. So, um, just just a great guy too, super collect. He's, he has an awesome collection. Um, if, if you've seen any of his videos, I mean, he, like, as far as, like, the collections that I've seen on YouTube that I can relate to the most, as far as, like, the stuff that I like, I think Eric is definitely at the top of that list because he does a little bit of everything, uh, as I do. He does vintage, modern, he, he collects, you know, sealed boxes and stuff like that, so me and him just have a lot in common, and, uh, you know, he's just really become a great friend, and I, I look forward to meeting him in person at the show this year so the next one is uh, Rocco at uh, Rocky Avelli um, he actually he took off for like a month or two and um, he just he started posting again this last week and I was I was really excited to see that um, he always has such a great time with his with his cards um, he you know he, he loves the uh, the vintage basketball, like the seventies basketball, you know, he loves the, the outrageous hair and stuff like that. And, uh, I just think it's really cool. The, the way that he goes about his channel, um, he doesn't take it too seriously. He just really has a good time. So I was super excited to, to see Rocco back and, uh, yeah, I really enjoy his channel. So check it out. Uh, next one, Bob Lewis. I don't think that, um, you know, I don't think you're going to find a better guy in this hobby than Bob Lewis. I mean, he has a genuine passion for what he collects. Um, you know, he tells a lot of stories about his collecting history with him and his father. And, I mean, you just got to watch Bob. I mean, he just, uh, he cracks me up with his dry sense of humor. I can totally appreciate that. And... You know, he, he's in this for the right reasons. Like, he, he just has a genuine passion for the cards and the hobby and the community. And another, I mean, like, everybody on this list, I definitely look forward to meeting, hopefully, at the show this year. And definitely, Bob, I hope you're there, buddy. Um, next up is another guy who just, I mean, he just, I just really enjoy the way he goes about things. It's Jason, Zombie Collector. Um, he's got a new project going on where he's collecting the 80 greatest cards of the 80s. And hopefully, you know, PSA will get this set registry up on their site. Um, I've, I've heard a couple of different guys talk about it. And, um, Jason's just a, he's just a cool guy. I mean, he's just as real as they come. And, you know, he just really enjoys the hobby. He enjoys... Um, he does a lot of uh, live broadcasts here on YouTube, and um, anytime that I'm at home and available, and I, I see that he pops up live on my phone, like I, I love to hop in there and just kind of, 
you know, see what the guys are talking about. Um, he's he's a very funny guy. He keeps it lighthearted. Um, just just a super super cool guy, and uh, I really enjoy all the stuff that he does on his channel. So keep it up, Jason. I, I really I think a lot of people really really enjoy what you're doing, buddy. So keep that going. Uh, the next one, Josh, who has Cardboard Chronicles. What Josh does on his channel is he primarily focuses on 90s basketball and uh you know he will interview uh some of the you know some of the biggest collectors of 90s basketball and you know they'll they'll discuss all types of topics on there so it's more of like an interview type show which i really enjoy because you can learn so much about some of these cards that you know like when i i guess when i first started um watching his channel like i thought that you know, I'm like, I, you know, I know quite a bit about 90s basketball, but man, I have learned so much um, just, you know, hearing the interviews that he's done on there. So keep up the good work, Josh. Um, I actually met Josh last year at the show. Look forward to, uh, to seeing him again this year. Uh, next up is George at Diamond Yard Sports Cards. George does primarily vintage. Um, what I really like about George's channel is... He collects a lot of the the same stuff that I like as well as far as the vintage and he does just a phenomenal job as far as focusing on cards that may have a low technical grade but they just present really well really well centered uh, the registration on the cards is great um, I'd, I'd love to know where you're finding some of these at George so uh, <laughs> but yeah just just great stuff um, on there so I really enjoy his channel and last is Ethan at Graded Sports Cards. Um, Ethan primarily, um, most of his videos primarily focus on uh, basketball and grading cards. So he will, um, you know, kind of show you what he has and then he'll show you the results when they come back from PSA. So it's, it's always interesting. I, I really love watching those type of videos because I've submitted a lot to PSA in the past, not as much in the last year or so, but definitely in the past I've had, um, you know, I've done my fair share of submissions with them. So I always enjoy to see the, you know, see the before and after process. You know, you see the raw card and then you see how it graded and you kind of like, you know, because it's, it's fun because you can kind of try to guess what, what grade the cards are going to get and then you can kind of actually see what they come back at. So, yeah. All those channels, great channels. Um, I definitely am just, uh, you know, happy and humbled just to be a part of this community. I've met so many great people here on YouTube that, you know, have similar interests as me. Some people that have different interests as far as collecting. And I've learned a lot about what they collect. And it's, you know, got me interested in some of that stuff, too. So I definitely appreciate everything that everyone brings, the, you know, just everybody just kind of getting together, sharing their thoughts and different things they have learned over the years about the hobby and helping others. So, but that's, that's all I have guys. So once again, congrats to Mike O on 3,500 subs. And I'm sure that's, you know, just going to continue to go up and up with the quality of your channel. So congrats, Mike.